Welcome to Vicoco, the vegan online cooking school. My name is Diana, I'm a plant-based chef. And in this video, I'm going to show you a real quick and easy zucchini pasta bowl for lunch. First thing what we're going to do is to prepare the zucchini pasta. I'm having a tool here. If you don't have that at home, no worries. I'm going to show you how to make it with a peeler at home as well. And if you want to, of course, you can add to the zucchini pasta. You can add some soba noodles, spaghetti or whatever you would like. But I like it plain, so I'm just going with the zucchini pasta. Now let's take the zucchini and make pasta out of it. So make sure to cut it or rip it after a while, otherwise you get very, very long spaghetti. So if you have that tool at home, I would not cut off this end because this is the last, really last end and you need it for a better grip. So you got two options now. You can eat it raw and what I have to do therefore is I take some salt and marinate it a little bit into it so that the water gets out of the zucchini. The second thing what you can also do is take this straight away and put it into your pan and just heat it a little bit. After that, I would put it into a sieve for an easier release of the liquid. I put that aside, that will take approximately five to 10 minutes. In the meantime, we're going to prepare the rest of the sauce and the ingredients. But let me show you first the alternative if you're not having that fancy tool at home. First, I'm cutting both edges and now I'm taking the peeler. And of course, we're not wasting anything. So these parts I'm going to cut and toss it in a pan with a little bit of garlic and onions. And the same procedure here, I would massage or combine a little bit of salt into it, let it drain and then I can use it either cooked in a cooked version or in a raw version. And now we're going to fry the capers. For that I took some oil, some frying oil. We have some capers without the brine, the smaller ones. And now I'm going to heat the oil. So we can start by pouring one small capers into it. Then you can see easily when the temperature is done and it will start frying. So it's an easier, easier way of checking if the temperature is already ready. Here you have an induction, so it's rather quick and at home it might take a little longer. So after a while, the capers will pop up and they will look like little flowers and they will need approximately four to five minutes to become really, really crispy. To get rid of the excess oil, I use some paper towel and now you already hear it. So I would pour in the rest. So take your spider and be careful. So after a while, when they popped open, I'm just taking one out to see if they're really crispy. And you see it's like a little flower. So be really careful when you're taking them out. Don't touch them right away. They are super, super hot. And now they are crispy and the way I want them. Now I'm taking them out of the oil and don't throw away that oil. We're going to use it for the dish. And now let's make the sauce. So I'm taking a little bit of salt. You could also use soy sauce if you want. Approximately a teaspoon. And now I'm pouring hot water over the salt. Let whisk. And now I'm taking the cashew butter. You can use any kind of nut butter. And I'm also going to add a little bit of fresh lemon juice and a little bit of maple syrup. And now it's the final step. I'm going to cut some onions and some garlic, fry it in a pan, adding the leftover zucchinis and some cocktail tomatoes. Toss it really good, then add our zucchinis and at the last step, our cashew sauce. The dish is ready. You saw I only tossed the pasta for like a minute so that it's warming up. Now I'm adding a little bit of the capers, the fried capers, and then I'm adding the sauce. The sauce I would do as a last step because if you're heating it too hot, it becomes very thick due to the cashew, which is very rich in fat. So I'd rather put it extra afterwards. 